my mic on? Oh, it is. Good morning. So a little bit about me. I'm Jessica Dunbar. Um, thank you for having me here today. I've been heavily invested in Joomla and technology for quite a while. Most of you might know me as the marketing lead of Joomla, but I'm also on the PLT, or the production leadership team, um, which we take care of the, the coding side of things, the framework, including the code, the documentation, localization. Um, I mainly work on the marketing side and communication. My day job, I'm actually a sysadmin. Um, so, and I work at an agency called uh, Trevera Interactive, based in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, USA. So I'll be speaking about Joomla. But before I get started, do you know we're at a developer conference and today is International Web Designer Day? So could we have all of our lovely web designers stand up? All, like, three of you? Yes. It's an international day of gratitude. So today I think we're going to shower them with money and sports cars and all of the great things. And our lovely um, Joomla web designers who helped make my presentation beautiful and everything else in Joomla. So let's talk about, um, before I start discussing everything about tomorrow and beyond, let's take a moment to celebrate success and to discuss why Joomla is so popular today. So PHP is a great programming language, and Joomla runs on PHP and MySQL. Uh, these are the most uh, popular programming languages in their respective fields and uh, running the top three CMSs. So what do you call a PHP developer? Employed. It's my good morning jokes. <laughs> Joomla has over 50 million downloads, well over 50 million downloads. This is um, actually last year. It's a huge milestone for the community. It can be traced back to uh, tireless work of thousands and thousands and hundreds of contributors. So Joomla is multilingual, and it's really easy to use the software, the language of your choice. The Joomla community has produced a number of language packs for 3, 2.5, 1.5 that you can use. And all you have to do is download your language pack and add it to the installation. I read on a lot of forums outside of Joomla, and that's one of the main reasons they use Joomla is for the multilingual cap capabilities. Another reason Joomla is so hugely popular is because of its massive selection of templates and plugins. Really, this is one of the most important factors um, for Joomla's popularity. The purpose of a CMS is to help users get things done quickly. And the more plugins, templates, the more value it provides to people who use it. And the more easier it is to get a site up and running to make it look how you want. With thousands of different plugins, templates, modules, components, uh, and languages, there's a level of efficiency a coder can achieve that's not possible in any other CMS. And of course, our biggest strengths are kick-ass developers. It's made by a group of team with a strong commitment and passion promoting open source. And without our strong development team, no piece of software is going to be successful, not even with awesome marketing. The development team and contributors, uh, they push our updates. They take our security seriously. And it's a reliable platform that we build websites on. Our support forums. Our, community, our developer community uh, collaborates and contributes to well over 2.0 million forum posts on Joomla.org. And if we go out to um, other areas of the web, there are thousands and millions of posts. I believe it's one post every five seconds gets added to the Joomla forums. There's roughly 700,000 users. Uh, Joomla dates back to 2001, but we first launched in 2005, and that means we've been together now for about a decade. Ten years is a long time for a project to be together, and it means our code base is mature. It also means we had a good opportunity to saturate the market, so we have a pretty good head start on everything.
We spent 10 years together. So 10 years we can solve problems that no one person may be able to solve on their own. Together we learn from each other when information is open. Together we collaborate. Together we formed a community with a common purpose where we bring together ideas and share. We're a community that can create beautiful things beyond one, beyond one person. And together we do more. So if you ask 10 people what Joomla 4 is or what they want in Joomla 4, you'll get 10 different answers. So for the fun of it, I asked 10 people what they want in Joomla 4. Tessa, stable. Kind of like three, but newer. <laughs> With some separation of web versus action, so we can blog uh, in the command line. <laughs> right. <laughs> It's critical that Joomla fits into a space that solves problems and truly differentiates itself from WordPress and Drupal. Secure. Yeah. <laughs> and then I had a call with Chad, and I asked Chad for one thing. And one night a week, we get together and we have, we call it wine night, and we drink and we talk about everything. Um, we fix all the world's problems. We fix everything that goes on in Joomla. That's why it's running so great today is because of Chad and I's wine night. Um, and if you follow us on Twitter, we live tweet um, our wine nights. This is where we discuss everything and we become licensing experts. Um, but this particular evening, we're talking about Joomla 4 and Chad to told me and Twitter uh, what he thinks it should be. And in case you don't know who Chad is, um, I'm sorry, Chad, after six years, I still cannot pronounce your last name. <laughs> um, Joomla 4 should, be, should not be some sexy categories, tags, and content. Joomla 4 should call, co solve content organization in a visual, modern way. This is where we began. Joomla 4 should be the next CMS for the next 10 years. The only thing we should bring with us is experience and lessons. Everything is new. Joomla 4, we should dare to try new things we talked about we were too scared to try in the past. Paid staff, bounties, experimentation for the win. Now Chad is, uh, he starts to repeat himself after a while. Joomla 4 should be designed by a team hired and paid by OSM to create the most user-friendly experience ever seen in a CMS. So the only thing, I don't think we can outsource, outsource passion and innovation. Website maintenance, something that what we greatly need, I think, could be. Um, if Henry Ford would have asked people what they wanted, they would have said faster horses. And I feel the same as with our users. Reclaiming our heritage. Mambo started with a claim to offer power and simplicity. And at some point over the last 10 years, we've lost a little bit of that. We've added features because they were cool without considering if they were useful. We've added features before they were ready because of a deadline. We've added features because they were offered without even thinking if anybody wanted them. Joomla 4 is our opportunity to correct the mistakes of the past. And not by blaming anyone for the mistakes or failures, but by grabbing the opportunity to reclaim our heritage. History is useful, but only to ensure that we don't repeat the mistakes of the past. With Joomla 4, we should. No, we must be prepared to reimagine everything. But before we can do any of that, we, mu we must finally have a vision for the software that we all love. And this vision statement should be lived by us daily. It should be communicated directly and indirectly about how Joomla acts and talks about itself online. Don't confuse the vision statement with our mission statement. Mission statements describe how your company will execute the vision. It's the tactics that make the vision a reality. While vision statements are very broad, mission statements are very narrow and specific. Leaders may change, but a clearly established vision encourages people to focus on what's important, to better understand the organizational-wide change and alignment of resources. And something we need to do is hyper-focus on focusing. So what is that vision? When we have that vision, we can start to build Joomla 4. 
So here are a couple bullet points to define our vision. Joomla is software to create content online. Joomla works on the widest range of modern technology stacks. Joomla is extendable, expandable, and customizable. Joomla is created by a community of volunteers who share this vision. Joomla is multilingual. And Joomla combines power with simplicity. So going from vi vision to reality won't come without some challenges. Joomla is PHP. This is what we know. This is what our community knows. Let's stick with PHP and embrace it with open arms. Adopt some of the cool new technology that's out there, but let's not get sidetracked with other technologies that may come and go. Joomla builds websites. Yes, it can build other things, and that's great. But building the best websites on the net should always come first and be our priority. To upgrade, migrate, or rebuild, we've done all three in the past. All three are very valid approaches, but we've never really put our heart and soul into any one of them. We've left others to do it with varying degrees of success, but whatever we decide to do with Joomla 4, we must do it ourselves, and we must integrate it into every stage of our process. How long should this take? I think the actual question is, how long can we afford to wait? Can we really afford to spend two years or more building Joomla 4? The quicker we get an MVP, a minimum viable product out, the better. So let's get an alpha MVP preview released as soon as possible. The quicker we can lay the foundations, the quicker we can resolve issues and build an awesome product. So when is Joomla 4 coming? I can't give you an actual date, but I can look at our history and our data. So if we look back to Joomla 1.0, all the way up through uh, 3.4, you can see uh, we release during the months of November uh, in April, with January being our top release month. And this has been for the past 10 years. And this, these are the major releases. The minor releases prove this more. So you could expect something in Joomla 4, possibly maybe in the month of January of 2016. And if it doesn't happen in 2016, chances are it won't be until January of 2017. This is what the data shows. It proves when we contribute. Data doesn't lie. So what is Joomla for, and what are the key features? I don't know, but I do know how we should decide. Does this feature fit the vision? And that should be the only consideration. Not who made it, not how long they spent making it, or even if people had asked for it in the past, or even if Joomla has always had this feature. If it doesn't fit our vision, it is not a feature that becomes part of Joomla 4's core. So, some possible features. All of these comes with their pros and cons, but they all must match our vision. Security. It's always been a priority. Maybe the next step is to integrate it actually into the CMS with the capability of self-testing, self-diagnosting, and self-protection. Installs. Last year I did a deep dive into Joomla's uh, data. And I found out that the most trafficked areas, the most keywords, and the most popular posts on our forums were related to the install. If people cannot install Joomla, how can they even use it? As Nicholas said, um, and in software, just like in dating, first impressions, they matter. Accessibility. I read a great blog post by Brian Tiemann, and I wanted to share a little bit of that blog post. A lot of people have been talking about how Joomla is required for the government sector and how important that is to match accessibility standards. But I'd like to take that a step farther and uh, share with you something Brian wrote. For a long time, he's wanted Joomla to be an accessible tool for anyone that wanted to publish online in the digital space. This means people from any background, whether they speak English or not, they have no money or if they are physically challenged, inhibiting them from using a computer or digital device in a traditional manner. We'd love to see 
everyone being able to express themselves online in digital platforms, publishing devices, mobile devices, and much more. It can also open opportunities for the physically challenged people to find employment and opportunities and in including them in our wider community. What he'd love to see is for Joomla to be the number one tool to be used in regards to publishing content anywhere by anyone, being the most accessible CMS on the entire planet. And that's what accessibility should mean. Mobile is the easiest trend to spot right now. And it's been going on for a long time with the increasing adoption and shift towards consuming content on mobile devices. Joomla's support for responsive design has helped site builders and site owners make their websites adaptable to devices with radically different screen sizes. So as long as the end users continue to browse the web, we have that covered. But will that always be the case? It's time to start thinking about all the smart watches you guys are wearing, maybe refrigerators, smart cars. <laughs> um, those things aren't going anywhere. So what's next? It's worth noting that the PLT is having a sprint, and one of its most important tasks is that we have set for ourselves on the summit is immediately following uh, JAB. It's work on the vision for Joomla 4 and even to start talking about Joomla 5. We also want to do an architecture sprint after JAB to get a clear architectural vision for Joomla 4 in place. Um, it's also I believe there were some of the vision was written yesterday in our Make It Habit sessions. So we need to define our vision, define the vision, and define our vision. In closing, my challenge to us all is two days a month. It's a half a day a week. Is there anyone here that doesn't think it's worth investing that time to the future of Joomla? It's our shared future, and we should share the effort. And not just your personal time, but people who run companies, your employees' time. I know many of you will contribute far more than two days a week, but let's pledge two days a month as a minimum. So today, I, Jessica Dunbar, pledge my two days a month to Joomla. Thank you.